So the White House is going to name uh, Monica Bertignoli as the head of the National Institute of Health. What more do we know about her? Is this a good choice? You know, Marnie, I think it is an excellent choice because we're able to move into more stable leadership. Um, Dr. Bernanoli has been leading at the National Cancer Institute. She has been at the helm. This is about who we are as a nation. That puts strength of our diversity at the center of American life. The future that celebrates and learns from history. A future for all Americans. A future I see you leading, and I'm not, again, exaggerating. You are going to be leading it. Again, let's be clear. There are those that don't see you and don't want this future. There are those who demonize and pit people against one another. And there are those who do anything. Biden delivers Howard University commencement speech and appointed Dr. Monica. Joe Biden announced on Monday he plans to designate a latest executive for the National Institutes of Health. Dr. Monica Bertinali, a surgical oncologist and cancer investigator, was chosen by Biden as the replacement. Dr. Bertinali has expended her vocation initiating groundbreaking scientific breakthrough and exhausting the limits of what is promising to enhancing cancer prevention and therapy for patients and safeguarding that patients in every municipal have easy contact and delivery to excellence care, Biden said in a statement. And I quote, As director of the National Cancer Institute, Dr. Bertinali has advanced my cancer moonshot to end cancer as we know it. Biden testimony reiterated and I quote she has amalgamated associates and logistics from diverse segments to unveil pioneering endeavors in cancer deterrence and immediate discovery, a nationwide triangulation agenda for juvenile cancers, and supplementary programs to drop scientific experiments to numerous Americans. Dr. Bertinali is a top-notch global icon doctor researcher whose foresight and guidance will guarantee NIH remains an instrument of technology to advance the health of the American citizens. You all think I'm kidding. <laughs> to the distinguished faculty and staff, thank you for having me, and to the parents and families in the class of 23, 2023, congratulations. And by the way, By the way, we will get to giving you your degrees. <laughs> I promise that's coming. You are here with the heart and through the heartache, through blood, sweat, and tears of everything that's come before, for everything yet to come. You are here at the new moment of hope and possibilities. For graduates, before we begin, Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions Stand below in the for comment your section. And Thank you for subscribing to this news you. channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new posts as you become part and parcel of the MCAD TV family. Please like and share MCAD TV. We love you all. Please support MCAD TV Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.